weird actually building a ranch. I've always called it the ranch. I think it's it's quite ranchy. But what makes it a ranch? Well, it's got the cowboy stoop. Every time we watch any kind of Western, like any film like that, they have that porch. Little House on the Prairie, it, that's it. Yeah. You know, George Bush's holiday house is basically that house. Yeah, that's a weird design reference, but yeah. Gonna do pretty much all of it by myself. I've simplified things, taken things out or added things because I can see how to achieve it. At its heart, this is a traditional heavy timber framed house, jointed by hand out of Douglas fir but then wrapped in modern insulation on the outside. At one end will be an open plan kitchen and living area under a double height ceiling. Behind that, a bathroom. The main living area will be lit by a wall of glass facing south and overlooking the garden. Halfway down the barn, a staircase will lead up to a snug, a bathroom and a first floor bedroom under a steep sloping tin roof. And outside, along the entire length of the building, will be a porch or stoop to enjoy the outdoors come rain or shine. They're building in a remarkable location. But for all its charm, this historic site is situated in one of the toughest areas of Glasgow. And away from the site, one day, they get some really bad news. I had yeah. a phone call and he said, your caravan's not here. Just singed yeah. down Lately to the down. ground. It had all our stuff in it. We put like a massive roll top bath in there, brand new wooden floors, rug skins, and it was so nice. Yeah, it was just a big black, just black rectangle. Do you know what happened? Uh, Somebody vandalism of some kind. vandalized it. Oh my God. That's terrible. Dead slashed the sides of the workshop as well. Somebody had taken a stand. Oh, like so it was, it was vandalism. Yeah. yeah. And there was smashed bottles and stuff. It's yeah. hard enough. That's your kind of blood, sweat and tears. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it was just kind of exhausting. It was relentless for some time. Well, howdy. Glasgow has its first American ranch complete with a steeply pitched tin roof, super insulated large clad walls, and full length rainproof stoop. This is like a man-made forest where the branches and twigs serve as coat hooks and the frame reaches up and out to embrace everything beneath. It is natural and simple. Concrete floor, nothing posh about that. It's like a workshop floor, which is how you want your house to feel. Because it's how you want your house to feel, <laughs> well, not I'm everybody. Not, yeah. Not everyone would be brave enough to go for a fully glazed gable end either. Here's the wall of glass mm. on that southern gable, which is brilliant because, of course, it drinks in the light. And this time of year, you need that because the sun doesn't get very high above the horizon here. In Glasgow, you can wake up in the winter at six, seven in the morning and it's really dark and it's grim and you don't want to look outside. But it's so beautiful waking up in here at any time of day. It's quite a view. And for those who pass by, it's also an extraordinary feature in the landscape. This is the, the big shout, the big hit in the high notes at the end of the thing. It's like the, the mullet part of the house was there's all the party in the back. I love this aspect of it. It's always been my favorite because it's private in a sense that it's kind of round the back, but then you're still kind of exposed on this side. Who we are, what we're up to is, is on display <laughs> to the world. I guess we did that on purpose. We didn't want to give ourselves that option to live quiet little lives in uh, of isolation. You're going to get to know a lot of people. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Every inch of this building speaks of the independent, creative, pioneering spirits of Joanna and Ben. From the steel balustrade on the stairs, designed and welded by Ben himself. To the downstairs bathroom, hand-built from leftover timber. Upstairs, there's a simple cosy bedroom and a snug mezzanine sitting room, all dressed in clay plaster. In the end, Joanna and Ben opted for an off-the-shelf product, but lovingly applied it themselves. You feel like you want to touch the walls. 
I just did. You just did, exactly. Can you start to think about how much things have cost? Is that starting to come together? Our budget was 170, as in that's the mortgage that we applied for and that we got. And so that's what we've spent. <laughs> Amazing value. I mean, astonishing value. Pacing ourselves along the way to make sure that we hit that was quite tricky. But there were so many moments where I would score something out of the budget, but there would be a workaround that was free, but very, very exhausting, time consuming and meant that Ben had to do it. What it demonstrates is that actually, if you are prepared to learn, if you are prepared to work hard at developing your skills and crafting something yourselves, then anything's possible. What we do together is the thing that is makes this? it work because <laughs> I could never have done it without Ben. I couldn't have done it with any other person. I love it. It's raw and it's real, but everyone can feel the emotion and the love that you've put into it. And that's something just intangible.